Since he released Get Out in 2017, Jordan Peele has been on many people's lists of the greatest horror movie directors in recent times. Join us as we dig into his discography and rank all of the projects he's released, both before Get Out and after. If you're not familiar with Peele and his work, this is the perfect video to get you into him and his incredible work. First, let's talk about his film with Keegan-Michael Key, Keanu. While Keanu was an enjoyable film, the films that would follow it were what really boosted Peele into the public eye. Keanu is different from what most fans now know him for. Before Peele was making fans scream out of fear, he was making them cry out of laughter. Keanu is a film about cousins Clarence, who is played by Keegan-Michael Key, and Rel, who is played by Jordan Peele. With Peele having credits as a co-writer on the film, the movie follows the cousins as they go on a wild adventure to return a kitten named Keanu to Rel, who has become dependent on the feline to feel joy. The film is hilarious, which is no surprise considering that it starred Key and Peele. It was the return of the comedy duo, whose show had just ended a year prior. The show ended in 2015, Keanu came out a year later, and then one year after that came Peele's masterpiece, Get Out. The film received polarizing reviews upon its release, with the general consensus being that the film is not the greatest piece of media to ever be released, but it is hilarious and a great watch nonetheless. Let's talk about Peele's second horror film, Us. Peele first played his hand in the horror genre in 2017. His second film would be released two years later and would pick up the same amount of interest, if not more, than the first movie. Us tells the story of an underground civilization full of clones of everybody on Earth, clones which are referred to as the Tethered. Peele's modern body snatcher horror was handled with the task of making a movie where an actor not only plays the hunted, but the hunter as well. While the task was difficult, Peele handled it excellently, and what fans received was a wonderful piece of media. Despite all of the praise for the writing and directorial work, Us still got polarizing reviews for one part of the movie, the ending. Many viewers were either confused as to what the twist was, while some understood the twist and simply didn't think the movie could have done better without. The rest of the viewers found the twist shocking. The goal of a horror movie is to make you scared of one thing, and Peele made viewers scared of two. The first being themselves, and the second being I Got Five On It, a 1995 song by Lunitz and Michael Mitchell that was remixed for us. Now let's talk about his role in The Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone first came out in 1959. Sixty years later, the beloved weird television series was brought back and given a modern reboot. Viewers of the show will know Peel as the narrator, but he's done much more for the show than just lend his voice. With his production company Monkey Paw Productions, Peel serves as an executive producer on the show. The show, like the original, is an anthology series, and with each episode comes new actors and actresses. The series has some big names attached to it. A Star Trek member appears on one of the episodes, a different Star Trek actor than the one who appears appeared on the original series. This time around, it's the beloved George Takai. The show also includes Topher Grace and Joel McHale, who both had episodes in the series Love, Death, and Robots. The show also features Damon Wayans Jr., Chris O'Dowd, and Morena Baccarin. Sadly, after only two seasons, the show was confirmed to not be coming back for a third season. There are currently 20 episodes, 10 in each season, which are available for free viewing on Pluto TV. Paramount Plus users also get the show with their subscription. What about people? Peel's time on Mad TV. When one says that Peel got his start in comedy, people will instantly think that it's in reference to Key and Peel, but the truth is that it goes back even further than that. In 1995, the first season of a sketch show was released that would go by the name of Mad TV. In 2003, Jordan Peel and Keegan Michael Key would join the show. Peel would be recognized instantly for his great impressions on the show, such as rappers 50 Cent and The Game. His impression of OJ was the one that was beloved by many viewers on the show. Mad TV was a series inspired by the original magazine named just Mad. It's a sketch television show similar to that of Saturday Night Live. In fact, Saturday Night Live has even gotten some controversy for allegedly copying bits from the show. For instance, Saturday Night Live was accused of stealing a sketch from Mad TV in which the characters are shaking things in a suggestive manner. While Saturday Night Live uses a Wii remote and Mad TV uses a flashlight, the similarities are too there not to see. To be fair, we must point out that Mad TV has also been accused of stealing from Saturday Night Live a bunch of times. How about Peel's newest film, Nope? 
The newest film to be released by Peel is Nope, which was released on July 22nd of 2022. Fans of Peel knew right away how great the film was going to be, based solely off the trailer. The trailer showed next to nothing in terms of what was going on in the movie. Peel's plan was to release a trailer that didn't give too much of what was in the film away, as many trailers have been criticized for doing in the last few years. After the film was released and made over $100 million at the box office, Peel released another trailer for the film that gave more away than the original. The show has an ensemble cast featuring Kiki Palmer and Steven Yoon. The film's star is Daniel Kaluuya, who appeared in Peel's first horror film, Get Out. Peel referred to the actor as his De Niro. The film has been praised quite heavily for its incredible directorial work, thanks to Peel, while the script itself has received polarizing reviews from critics and fans. Despite viewers being torn on the actual writing of the script, the film still garnered many new fans of Peel's work, both old and new. Next, let's talk about Key and Peel. Before people knew Peel as the modern master of horror he currently is, they knew him as one half of the hilarious comedy duo Key and Peel. Key and Peel was a sketch series created by Keegan Michael Key and Jordan Peel, who became good friends during their time together on the sketch television series Mad TV. The show aired on Comedy Central and ran for five seasons starting in 2012 and ending in 2015. In those five years, a total of 53 memorable episodes were released. Out of the 53 released episodes, there were countless sketches that many people remember now and will remember for many, many days to come. Some of the most memorable episodes include Soul Food, Country Music, and Text Message Confusion. The show did so well in popularity that Keegan-Michael Key, in the role of the anger translator Luther, got to go on stage with United States President Barack Obama. Luther the anger translator was a bit in which Key played a character named Luther, who would angrily translate Obama, who was played by Peel in the original sketch. He would translate Obama's proper speaking into what he really wanted to say, which was usually very aggressive. Lastly, let's talk about Peel's first horror film, Get Out. Arguably one of the greatest left turns in the history of movies and TV came in 2017 when Jordan Peel released the incredible Get Out. This was not only his debut film as a writer and director of horror films, but as a writer and director in general. The film once again features Daniel Kaluuya in the leading role. It would be the first time the two worked together, and thankfully it would not be the last. The film focuses on topics regarding racism and was chock full of amazing actors like Lil Ray Howery, Lakeith Stanfield, and Steven Root. The film rightfully earned four Academy Award wins in the categories of Best Director, Best Picture, and Best Original Screenplay for Peel. The fourth was awarded to Daniel Kaluuya. Fans not only loved the movie from the start, but they loved the way it ended. This is true for both the ending that viewers saw at the end of the movie and for the alternative ending that can be found online or on the DVD release of the film. Despite the total opposite happening in each end, ending, fans still loved both of them, as they wrapped up a wonderful movie. Jordan Peele has only been in the horror industry for five years now, and in those five years he has shown not one single sign of stopping. What is your favorite film by Jordan Peele? Let us know below, and look out for Wendell and Wilde coming soon to Netflix.